So Filmora is generally a really easy video editing program to use, but it definitely has some limitations and transitions are one of them. Transitions are really easy in it, but it has some small issues that make you want to pull your hair out. Just so you know, you cannot change the colors in the transitions, uh, but you can adjust them in small ways. I'm Steve. I'm from Easy ESL Games, Ad Ronin, and S9D Digital Marketing. Stick with me for three minutes, and I'll show you how to do everything you need to do on Filmora transitions. Okay, so here's how you added Filmora. I have added two clips into the timeline here. Uh, it just looks like this. Two. Just go to transitions up here, and you have a whole bunch of transitions on the left. Um, I have favorited three. Some of these uh, are free that come with the program and some of them you have to pay uh, as a subscription. So I will just drag one onto here like this. And this is a simple dissolve, it looks like that. To remove it, just click on it and delete or you can just replace it with another one. So here we go. There you go. Uh, you are quite limited in what you can do with the transitions. For example, this is orange and blue, you cannot change the color. You can change how long it lo goes on for, the duration. But if you double click it, you can change the duration here. Or you can just actually on it, you can move it like that. So if you want to do a faster transition, make it smaller, like this. Or a longer transition, just make it wider, like that. I'm going to get rid of that. You can also choose where it takes the footage from. So this is directly in the center. It takes half from the first video and half from the second video. I can drag it across there and now it will take more footage from the, the first video and less from the second or the other way. Now, uh, to do this, you can double click it. Also, you can choose there. Okay. Now, did you notice something that when I did this, now watch the, the footage of the cherry blossom here. It freezes. The same thing happens when I do here. So the footage is moving. Now it freezes. The reason is that it's taking footage that's not there. So when it's here, it's trying to use footage from this mysterious food because the actual transitions happen in there but there's no footage that's why it's just freezing yeah same with this one it's trying to use the footage from here but there's no footage so it's freezing frozen to get around this is you can make this footage if you cut this footage here like here and then i cut it so there's footage now that's missing. Now now if I bring it here. The footage is not freezing because it's taking the footage that I've already cut out. If you don't have footage that you can cut out and use in this, you got nothing to do. You can either do the half transition or uh, use a different transition. I don't know, maybe this one will hide it more. Or... Or you can do it. <laughs> Another situation that happens is if you have an overlay. So I'm going to bring this strawberry and this whale onto it. So now we have a big whale in the middle and now we have a, a strawberry. So now I'll, I'll put the transition here. And now when I watch it, well, the whale and strawberry are on top of the transition. To fix this, just drag the transition up a level. And now it's behind it. I have had situations where for some reason that I've had to put another transition, a transition on each level because for some reason it just looked weird. So try that out if it still isn't quite working properly. One other issue you'll get is if you have an extra element on one of the timelines but not the other because here I want the transition to be in the middle but if I add it here it doesn't work it can't go left because there's no footage to go into so a right way around this is either move this footage up to 
so now it works okay but if this doesn't work like if there's other things happening on this click later on that mean that you don't want to move this for whatever reason you can control C control V make an exact copy of it and then you can put it here and it should be seamless it doesn't have to be the whole clip you can make it shorter because it's identical it'll just seamlessly uh, it'll look the same there we go well that's pretty much it for Filmora transitions um, if you would like a full write-up of this you can visit our blog at padronin slash blog uh, if this is too simple for you, then maybe it's time to upgrade to Premiere Pro, DaVinci, or Final Cut. Uh, please do the normal things, you know, liking, subscribing, and commenting, and catch you in the next video.